Eric Evans. Here we're looking outside of the satellite imagery this morning. Clear skies to start our work week. It was nice and clear yesterday and pretty dry. Also fairly warm. We're going to heat up as we move into this work week as well. With a heat advisory already in place for the Inland Empire and an excessive heat watch for the Coachella Valley that goes into effect tomorrow, this will likely become a warning. Uh, the Weather Service already eyeballing that possibility as temperatures climb well above our seasonal averages. We're still going to be maybe as much as 10 degrees above normal, but that would put us at 119. And I don't see numbers quite that high, but it's going to be hot this week. The humidity of last week has moved off, and this makes things a great deal better, especially if we're going to heat up. It's nice to see some drier conditions building in across the Southland. We've got 85 degrees in Palm Springs. It's 83 in La Quinta. We're checking in that same number in thermal and also up in the high desert, 29 palms. The number's pretty good uh, as we move into the mid morning. We're seeing some nice northwesterly breezes coming in. Not much in the way of wind. Uh, wind's fairly light, but that wind direction's important because it allows us to keep those dew points down just a bit. They're in the 50s West Valley, but we're in the 40s for dew points East Valley. That means that today as we dry out, you'll be able to use your evaporative coolers to good effect to keep the house cool, and you're going to need to do that. We're going to be up to 112 today, so running a bit above our seasonal average. Those temperatures, though, heat up through the remainder of the week as this ridge of high pressure. And this is a pretty, a pretty common scenario moving into this time of year. Ridge of high pressure sets up shop. It builds in. It's going to stick around for a while, and that gives us hotter than normal conditions all week long. Today, as I said, 112. The average for the date, 109. We're looking at 114 to 115, maybe even a little hotter on Wednesday. Let me keep an eye on that. We might have to bump those numbers up a little bit for both Wednesday and Thursday. Numbers finally come back down a little bit as we move toward the weekend. We get closer to our seasonal normal by Sunday. Overnight lows will be uniformly in the 80s, except at the east end of the valley. So it's going to be pretty toasty all week long. Stay hydrated. Keep an eye on the pets. Never leave a person or a pet unattended in your vehicle. And all of the usual heat precautions apply. And if you know somebody who uh, doesn't have AC in their home, please make sure that they get to a cooling center. A complete list of those can be found at KESQ.com. We'll be back with some more to wrap up the program. You're watching the Desert Museum.